Hey, what's going on, my dudes? It is Wednesday, which means it's time for Buyer's Guard. And in this week's Buyer's Guard, there are like some really, really tasty specials out here. Um, basically, enough for you to build a full PC properly, even a graphics card special. Can you believe it? In 2021, GPUs on special on Uncle e -Tech. Diving straight into the top 10, then at number 10, it's a Kleb 128 gig 3.2 specification USB thumb drive, 128 gig. 499 rand with a limited lifetime warranty 128 gig is also not exactly small is it so yeah you could put a lot of stuff on here and these usb3 drives do run pretty damn quickly you're looking at write speeds of about 25 megs a second and you're looking at read speeds of 220 i was going to say 110 was what i generally have had performance wise from them i've got the older little clev job if i remember now this is a hick vision variant um but they're basically the same same but different but still the same except limited lifetime warranty on the sucker coming in at number nine it's a home nanny kind of product which i actually really like and you'll see why i say this is a nanny product because it's actually got a microphone and it's got a dual way channel speaker on it it's an ip cam a whole 600 rand as well is a very very good bang for buck it's got motion detection as well built into it so if something is happening in an area you don't want it to be happening it can send you those notifications through the app and it's kind of sick like how it works and stuff it's also got nighttime recording so you can see kind of what they're they're hinting at is like that you can use it for you know home home security and that sort of stuff and it's absolutely perfect for that because you don't need a whole dvr system or anything like that everything is taken care of inside of the camera and it's got a really really nice app that's on the phone h.264 recording frame rate's not the best ever but everything is visually acceptable is the best way that i could say it there are a number of reviews for this little camera but for 600 rand it's kind of disgusting what you're getting over here number eight is antox prism x 120 argb three in one fan set you do get the control box with this which is why it's making an appearance i don't normally talk about fans and fan kits because generally it's down to you know what your system is and how it's set up and stuff but these are really really good i built these in a mates machine and i was actually kind of stunned we built him quite a high level pc you know like a 50 grand rig with a 3070 ti and all the bells and whistles and this thing was these were well this thing these things were really well received mostly because of the air pressure this is something i noticed 2.56 millimeters is insane amounts of air pressure that's coming out of these the 45 cfm is not the highest ever but it's way more than enough that it can push through grates and meshes and that sort of stuff because it's got that high pressure setup when you see lots of thicker or, or fewer thicker blades on a fan then it's generally set up for high pressure environments and that's exactly what they've done and the dual ringlet and the look and feel and everything it felt insanely good bang for buck i thought that this kit could be sold for at least a thousand bucks to look at the invoice and only see it there for 600 rand it was kind of mental at number seven is the k65 rgb mini imagine what's in front of that if this has moved back like five places from last week it's still a really good really really good keyboard don't get me wrong the cherry mx is with this kind of layout fully backlit for 1589 with a two-year warranty it's kind of nuts and the build quality and everything on this is pretty damn sick if you would like to see me do a review on it so we can delve even deeper into the product let me know about it in the comments down below but just on the face of things having owned the k65 in the past this one looks way cleaner way more straightforward it looks quite easy to clean as well like when you remove the key caps themselves it should be quite easy to get in there removable braided cable as well nice like extra textured extras thrown in the box always like getting extras it always just makes it feel that much more premium so for 1589 this is pretty much from what i can see if you like a 60 percent this is probably the best mechanical keyboard on e tech right now running on the top of at number six it's a g4 a3 at 849 this one's pretty self-explanatory i think it's got the disgusting 25k hero sensor in it for 849 normally these are about a grand or more so they're like 200 rand less it's almost like a 20 percent discount isn't it i at that rate and mine is actually still being used on the test bench even though i hit the bottom of my monitor and took the whole bottom of the mouse off literally it sheared off and did like that and then <laughs> i put it back together and the thing's still working so 
it's tough. It still works. It, like th these are very, very, very good at the price. This is pretty much the best FPS gaming mouse you can get at this kind of money. Ergo shapes also quite nice. I know a lot of homies that still swear by them. And well, 20% discount is 20% discount. Running on the top off at number five, it's a classic Hikvision E100, still on special at 899. The, these are like some of the best 2.5s I've ever tested. They kept up with the Samsung 850 Evos even. They're basically almost carbon copies of those. And that's a good thing because part of that is a five year local warranty on this drive. So 900 bucks, it's less than what? It's like 170 Rand a year for a 5, 12 gig SSD. It's just a good time. At number four, it's a Razer Viper, not the 8K variant, sure, but this is still a kind of disgusting mouse at 69 grams. It's extremely lightweight. It's quite long as well, which I like, especially if you've got um, a bigger hand, which a lot of our um, Afrikaans brethren may have. I know this because I've been in a Centurion petrol station at 11 o'clock at night and turned around into an Urm's belly button at six foot. I was very shocked. He was a literal tree. So I know you, there's homies around that have hands the size of whole people, and this will actually make quite a nice fit for you. Fully ambidextrous as well, nice optical switches. I have done a review on this product, the 8K variant. I found that the extra uh, polling rate really petered off at 2000 is where the point that it kind of became superfluous. So if you're not um, too fussed about something like that, this is gonna be good for you. And honestly, even at this level, you can see it's 450 inches per second and a 50G acceleration rating, which is like on the upper end of things these days. 1000 hertz ultra polling, normal stuff, nice cable, nice build, look, feel, etc. For 1100 Rand, this is probably the best FPS gaming mouse on EveTech right now. At number three, it's a surprise pop up in the form of an Acer NVMe that's got pretty much the fastest you can get from Gen 3, 1TB at 1800 Rand for five years. This is a really, really good deal right now. This is the best price versus performance NVMe on the entire store. I don't know if it's got DRAM caching or if it's DRAMless or what they've set up there. I've actually looked around for it. I haven't seen anything to suggest that it has got DRAM. So it might only be good as like a secondary drive. I'm not sure if it's performance on an OS drive. I'd love to get it as a review sample from Acer, but I've done so many NVMEs at the moment. I think you guys are probably going to stab me in the head if I do another NVME review. But at the 1800 Rand with a five year warranty and those speeds, if it's good, it's going to be really good. At number three, it's a graphics card that I'm reviewing that's now on special for nine grand. It's the Quick 308, which is like a bit of an upper tier model for this range from XFX. Their entry levels on like the 201 or something to that effect. Um, I'm I can't remember every single product name. Sorry, guys, I, I know I'm a massive disappointment. Join the queue, okay? But as far as this goes, it's a good damn deal because this thing's basically like a 3060. It's like 2070 kind of 3070 level performance for nine grand, nine grand in this current economic climate and in this market globally. The fact that we even have this on special kind of blows my mind. I think Whoever's done this and whoever's bought XFX to South Africa, I just want to say thank you so much and for slapping a three-year warranty on it so that it's, you know, the norm. And Uncle Evtech, you check, you check, homies. So that homies don't just buy it for farming and then there's no stock for the homies in the in the channel for gaming. So now you can build a full PC with a properly good GPU. If your goal is 1080p or even 40, 1440p at 60 FPS, this thing will handle. I'm busy reviewing it at the moment. But yeah, from everything I've seen on 6600 XT since its launch, it's really, really convincingly good. Extremely tight power targets and stuff as well. So even though this is a thinner, slimmer cooler, I still think it's probably going to be over spec actually. Our DNA 2 has worked out super, super well for AMD. You can't even do some ray tracing performance with this year's sucker. Just sick. And finally, the deal of the week. Just in front of that, I had to give it to this upgrade kit because look at it. Z590 P, PCI Express 4.0, check. 11600K, PCI Express 4.0, check. 3200 megahertz of the good RAM, check. If you throw in the extra, it'll be 11.2, 11200. The 32 gigs RAM of 3200 CL16 that you can variably use on another build or down the line, there's gonna be tons of DDR4 around in the market. That's the good news. The other good news is you get this, a 240 millimeter radiator, which you can then strap your overclockable 11600k so now honestly 4.9 is cool but 5.3 is well 
just that much cooler, isn't it? And to aid with that, Asus has got a proper 10 plus 1. So there's way more than enough power headroom to be able to push this to 140 watts. It should be able to handle that kind of power throughput perfectly. You've got the cooler to keep it cool so that your gaming temps will probably be in the mid 50s, low 60s, but you'll be pushing 5.3 gigahertz, which is not so inconsiderable amount. And six core 12 thread is also going to mean that you can stream off of the CPU. It unlocks a whole new world. Just think Aladdin, whole new world. That's what this bundle is. Anywho, that is all I've got for you in this top 10 today. If you have enjoyed it, Please do hit us up with a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the flip side. By the by, I am aware that it is a B560 plus picture over there. So I'm going to send it to the YouTube boys and they're going to fix it. Got you.